Hello Bangalore, this is AK360 and today we are going to talk about the newly launched 200cc motorcycle and its unique features which is none other than the Apache 204V Racing Edition 2.0. It's a surprise package from TVS Motors giving us the first in-class motorbike equipped with the TVS Advanced ART technology also known as Anti-Reverse Torque, nothing but a slipper clutch and the RLP which is nothing but a rear wheel lift off protection which stops from rear wheel lifting off from the ground during panic situations especially when you're doing only the front disc brake you can follow the link above to learn more about this talking about the bike engine and performance it produces a max power of 20.5 and a 21 ps at 8500 rpm with respect to carburetor and FI engine giving us a maximum torque of 8.1 Nm at 7000 rpm just to quickly compare to the power delivery with the direct competitor the Bajaj NS200 which produces 23.5 PS at 9500 which is a little bit higher though and a peak torque at 18.3 at 8000 rpm it's a single cylinder four stroke engine which is oil cooled with ram air assist to keep the engine much cooler to give a longer life as well compared to the previous generations pushing the bike to a top speed of 129 kilometers as per tvs claims though the reality will be revealed with the hand on hands on experience as far as safety is concerned tvs has created a benchmark to break all the barriers for 200 cc class bikes by offering a slipper clutch yes a slipper clutch called by tvs as art which i already spoke about as the technology also aims at ensuring rider safety in high speed downshifts avoid wheel hopping while cornering and improves vehicle stability which adds a great value to the safety it also equipped with a dual channel abs to put the other competitors to shame just make a note there TVS is currently offering dual ABS and RLP only in the carburetor ABS variant. Yes, you heard it right. The FI and Pirelli variants are not offered with ABS nor RLP. But TVS might fit the safety package in future, maybe with a 3.0 version. Who knows? ABS variant comes fitted with RLP. You also get Remora tires as standard across all variants. And if you are a racetrack enthusiast, Perry tires variant is also offered for additional track focused performance riders for better grip and control in corners. Style does matter, which comes true with this racing edition. A bold look and stunning graphics across the bike. Though at angles it somehow got the DNA transferred from the opponent, the Pulsar 220F. We'll park this aside when we do the side to side comparison in future. That's just my opinion, so don't take it personal. TVS now offers 5 colors, red, black, grey, white and my favorite, the matte black with red stripes. The new seating style, split seats borrowed from the bigger brother, RO310. Though the cushioning is same as the old generations. The new style headlamp design for better aerodynamics to cut down little wind blast in highways. The bike also, the bike also weighs at 149 kgs, which is good enough to be steady when the wind is stronger against you. It got an aggressive tank with aerodynamic shaped cowl, but unfortunately it's the same 12 liter tank capacity, which might be a disappointment for few, but okay, nowadays we see a lot of petrol bunks. For a very short span of distance. Adding to the style, it also gets a better looking engine cowl which also protects the lower engine while through bad roads. It's almost the same full digital speedometer but it would have the Bluetooth feature as NTOR does. Might be it might come in the next versions, we'll wait for it. It got a slicing ninja style alloy wheels cutting through every spin as you watch from a distance. 
got a stunning paint job with graphics suiting the bike's ergonomics which will turn heads for sure when you're riding on the road. When it comes to pricing and options for consumers, TVS Motors hit the bullseye again. Consumers can choose across four variants, ABS with RLP, the ABS variant, FI, fuel injection variant, a Pirelli tire variant and the carburetor with the non-ABS variant. And the pricing range starts from 96,588 to the maximum of 1,10,388 ex showroom Bangalore being carburetor non-ABS the lowest and ABS variant being the highest. Coming to a practical outcome, the bike's dimension engine performance remains the same as previous generations except with the newly introduced ART slipper clutch, the RLP, the rear wheel lift off protection and a complete cosmetic change and graphics which gives a stunning look when you look at the bike which looks like a new paint scheme uh, Iron Man came out of nowhere I hope you have got all the information needed from this if you need any more information leave your comments below as a piece of advice always drive safe and make sure you learn the braking without ABS so you better understand your bike and you will have better control when you end up in a bad situation. I'm waiting for the bike to be launched in Bangalore so I can take a quick ride and share my complete on-road practical experience with you all. So stay tuned to my channel, press the notification bell to get notified on the new videos coming up. That's all now for now friends. This is AK360 signing off from Bangalore. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as we have some exciting videos to come in future. Leave your comments. We'll reply back at the earliest. Bye now.